Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about how you can become Zion Williamson even when you're younger, when you're 12, 13, and 14 years old. So we really need to break down his body, but also his skills and what he does to be able to score the ball as well as defend his own net. Let's get down to it. So first I'm going to break down his body and what you need to do to be able to have the body that he has, but also later on I'm going to be breaking down a couple of the moves and skills that he has that you should have as well. So first off, his body. What makes his body different from everybody else in the league? Obviously he is much heavier than pretty well everyone else in the league, but that's because of his muscle mass, not because of fat, unlike myself. Now. What does that mean? Well, let's start from the top down. He's got massive bowling ball shoulders. How do you get massive bowling ball shoulders? You can do what I call lat raises, which is when you get an elastic band, a resistance band, or you can get weights and you can stand there feet shoulder width apart and you can go from your side up to shoulder height and back down. Those are lat raises and those work on your shoulders a ton. Push-ups also help you work the fronts of your shoulders as well. And then you can do pull-ups. You can do laying down pull-ups, which works the back of your shoulder and your back as well. And regular pull-ups. And that's all going to be able to help you be able to have bigger shoulders. Bicep curls, tricep extensions, those are gonna help you have larger arms. Now, why do you need to have large shoulders and arms? So in the position that Zion Williamson plays, he is six foot six, six foot seven in that range, and he plays the post and he plays the slasher. So this tells us that those shoulders and that arm strength is going to allow him to be able to take contact when driving towards the rim, doing some of the moves that we're gonna talk about later to be able to score on that net when there's defenders getting in his way. Next is his core. Planks, sit-ups, even pull-ups, if you bring up your legs at the same time, are all going to be working your core. You can do leg-ups, so you can hold onto a pull-up bar and you can pull both your legs up with a bent knee or with straight legs. That's going to really help your core, but also don't forget about your lower back. Lower back extensions are going to be able to help you as well. Now with a strong core, that's going to allow you to change directions a lot faster. When he does that jab cross move, that move alone, if you've got a strong core, that's going to allow you to drive on that defender much faster. Next is his legs. Go check out my vertical jump training book down in the description below. That's going to help you jump a lot higher no matter what age you're at. But some of the things that I have seen videos of Zion Williamson doing is sand training, water training, and then regular plyometric vertical jump training. Those three things together can help you become a better basketball player altogether. And I've got videos on that as well. If you just type in basketball coach Allen sand training or pool training, you'll find it. So if I forget to post it down below. So one of the moves that I have seen Zion Williamson do is what I call the jab cross. So regularly in a jab step, you would go and jab from left side to right side with the ball, making it look like you're gonna go in that direction. But what he does is that same jab, but usually with a jab step, you would pick this leg up and go the other direction, but he doesn't. What he does is he'll jab, cross the ball and then go. He'll either use that same lay or he'll jab, cross and then go with the left, which is a very advanced move and something that you really need to practice because if you do decide to do this move and attack the ball or attack the net, you need to watch out that when you jab, you don't lift up this back leg first before you dribble because if you do that, it's a travel. So something else that Zion Williamson does as well is if the ball is on the strong side, the other side of the net, he's on this side, the weak side, because he's maybe the only player on this side. When a player drives towards the rim and he notices that his defender, who is defending him like this, goes over to help out with that drive, he cuts baseline 
and then that player who's driving sends up the alley-oop for him to slam it down. Now the reason why he does this and why I'm mentioning this is because you really need to know how to run off ball, meaning that you know how to run and get open when you don't have the ball. You could easily sit back here and jack up a shot, but for Zion, even though he's a very good three-point shooter in my opinion, he has a higher percentage when cutting baseline and getting sent up the alley-oop. Because what that does for him and his team is not just gets them two points, gets them a possible three points if he gets fouled, but it also lifts the motivation for the team because anytime somebody throws down a massive slam, it doesn't just give them two points, it gives their team an extra boost for motivation and tenacity. And then the last move I'm gonna to talk to you about is the spin move. Now the way he does the spin move is special. So he does have a lot of power when it comes to shoulders, which does help with your vertical jump. But also his vertical jump ability, and this bee is trying to bother me, but, and his vertical jump ability is able to help him really finish off with the spin move. So sometimes he'll start either at the free throw line, the elbow, or he'll start out in the three point line. And he only takes one dribble from here and one, sometimes two dribbles from the three point line. And how he does this is he will jab and dribble and that's going to be his one dribble from here. But he, his, his length of step is huge. You have to, instead of doing a regular jab step, what's going to happen here is you're gonna go and jab, but you're gonna go as far as you can, dribble, you're gonna plant that left foot, that's gonna be your first step. Your second step is your right leg. Now for mere mortals like us, we would turn and go with a left-handed hook or a layup. But for Zion, he finishes usually with a dunk because he's just amazing. Now, I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player and possibly play like Zion in the future. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.